Hello everyone. This is Monday, November the 22nd, 2021. It's 11 degrees Celsius out. Can you believe that? We're almost to the end of November. It's 11 degrees Celsius at 10.24 a.m. in downtown Halifax. So we're going to walk around downtown today and hopefully we'll be able to not get rained on too hard. I'm tired of getting wet in the rain and making videos. <laughs> But I would do it if I had to. There's a little bit of rain, but not much. I thought about bringing my umbrella, but the wind is blowing really hard. So I figured it wouldn't do me any good anyway to have an umbrella. So we're just going to try to make a video as best we can with what we got to work with there. It is blow the wind is blowing a lot. But some streets are less windy than others. And if the rain doesn't rain too hard for a little while, we might be able to be, we might be okay. It's wet, as you can see the road's wet, but it's not, it's not really raining really hard. I'm just gonna see if I can put my hood up. That might help a little bit. Just try, get it up, there we go. Now I got my hood up. That will help. That will help a lot. Okay. There we go. I'm walking southward on Barrington Street at the moment. And the rain is starting to pick up some, so we'll see what happens. If it rains too much, I'll have to find somewhere to take shelter for a little bit. Until the rain stops. So, uh, that's my plan. Try to, uh, okay, I'm going to go across the road. Because I can stand there for a little while, maybe the rain will stop. Because I don't want to get my phone wet. It'll stand a little bit of rain, but not too much. And then maybe it might malfunction if I... Do something over here. Whoo, there, there's the rain a little bit down here. There we go. Let's just stand here for a minute and see if it'll stop the rain. It just started. I just got over here in the city and got my phone rigged up and my gimbal and, and it started to rain. If I could have got over a little earlier, I could have got a little more done, but we'll see. That building is slated for demolition right there. They've just about got her stripped inside now. That is a seven-story building. And I think there's a nine-story going up in this place. So that is just about to come down. We got the barriers all around it here now and I think they're going to blast it but I could be wrong but I think so I think they're going to bring it down that way I'd like to be standing here when they did that but that may not be possible all right let's walk down the hill I gotta I gotta stay out of the rain somehow until the rain stops again there's breaks in it it'll rain a little bit then there's breaks in it and so on. So we might be okay. Well, we'll try our best and uh, try not to get too wet down here. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's let's walk down towards the ferry station. Look at this stuff here. The right road into. No, they're loading it up. They're trying to. Oh, is that wind ever blowing? Man. Now, I knew it was going to rain today, and I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but <laughs> we're hoping for the best and thought I'd better get out and do something today 
because the rest of the week is going to be really bad. It might be really hard. Like when the wind's blowing, it's your biggest enemy. If it was just raining, I got a nice big umbrella I could have brought. But the wind's blowing so hard, umbrella don't do you any good in a, in a high wind unless you got a really good umbrella. Well, we'll see what happens here. I wanted to go down the Orange Street. It all depends on how much rain we get. I think it stopped again. How about that? We'll go, we'll go back up the hill. There's a lot of wind. I gotta try to shield my microphone. If I, cut, if I cut my hand around the microphone, we might be okay. Hopefully you can hear me all right. We might pick up a lot, so that's why they pick up the wings so bad, because they, they're really good at picking up voices. They pick up the smaller sound from quite a distance. So I'm just hoping I can get a video done today without too much trouble. Right now it's okay, it's just wind. So that's what I was hoping. I could duck into the rain and it would blow over. I'd get a few more minutes. And if I can keep getting a few minutes here, a few minutes there, I'll get this video made. This is late fall, 22nd of October. So this is the kind of weather you get in the late fall in Atlantic Canada or any other place, Ontario or BC or wherever you want to be. You're still going to get some uh, rough weather this time of year. Whoa, that wind is blowing. Let's get around the corner here. Nice right here. So what should we do? We should go around this side of the road because there's less wind, right? Okay, that's what we'll do. And if you don't want to get across this intersection, then then we'll go down this side. I should see out of the wind. Hopefully, hopefully we get a break from the wind here. This is really windy out today. No doubt you'll be able to pick it up through the mic. I'm shielding it with my hand, trying to keep the mic from getting too much wind in it. That, that building is just about to come down. I'm not sure what day it'll happen, but soon. Just a uh, seven-story building. There's six stories on the back, but if you're down on the street below, it's uh, seven stories. Okay. Seven-story building coming down. Nine-story building going up. Looking forward to it. Sometimes buildings just get so old, they're not worth keeping. You gotta tear them down, build something new. I haven't walked around downtown in quite a while, except for the weekend. I was over here on Saturday. That was my first time in a while, and this is my first weekday downtown in probably, probably three weeks for sure. Could be longer, at least three weeks since I've walked around downtown. I used to come down every day for around the summer, but kind of, kind of got out of that habit. Was well, good to be down here again today, walking around and. Enjoying the scenery. You know what I really love? I love buildings that are built into the corners like that one, where the door goes right in from the corner. And you can see it from both streets. Something about that is kind of 
Yeah, yes. So I'm still walking south of uh, Barrington Street. I haven't walked around Barrington Street for quite a while because I've been other places. I've been doing other things. We've been looking at all other parts of the city. Uh, still making videos, but I hadn't been downtown for a while. So it's getting on late in the fall. But might as well come downtown and do a video downtown today. I know the weather's a little bit wild, but I think we'll get through it. Let me see. Uh, let's see, I guess it's, I'm about almost 15 minutes into the video, maybe not quite, almost. So if I can get another 30 or 40 minutes in, that'll be pretty good, but I'm going to try for an hour. Hopefully I can get an hour in down here. It's supposed to rain the hardest tonight. Today's just high wind and some rain. But the heavier, heavier rain is going to be tonight. You can tell it's dark and the streets are wet, but that's okay. I'm going to stand here because i got to wait for the light. Um, I'm not going to go up on that side because it's calmer over here. So I look the other way on Barrington, I look back that way while I'm just standing here waiting for the light. That way is pointing north. And this is towards the south. I'm not going all the way in the south end right now. Maybe not at all. Maybe I'm going I don't know, maybe not. But right now I'm just concerned about right downtown here. It's been a while since I walked around downtown. So how was the weekend? Did you, ever, did you all have a good weekend? My my loyal viewers that I'm talking to all the time. Did you did you have a good weekend? I did. I had a busy weekend. I was on the golf pretty well, <coughs> pretty well all weekend. Did manage a video on Saturday, and managed to squeeze one in. I had a busy day, but it was okay. Came over the city here and did one. So now here we are, two for two. Second one's in the city, downtown. Oh yeah, I want to just mention one little thing here. Some, a couple of people got that answered my my comments got flagged by YouTube, and I don't think you would have said anything too awful because I talk to you guys all the time. So one thing you can't do, you can't have something on that somebody else did like you can't. You can't put a link to something and send something that someone else did and then put it on my YouTube. You can't do that. The, U the guys at YouTube will, will uh, won't put it up. So if your comments get erased or you try to put a, a link to something, YouTube don't allow it. So just, you know, it's not my rules. I'm just, I wouldn't care one way or the other. But that's, that's what YouTube says. They don't allow that. So. Well, my, my son, he's the expert. He's the YouTube expert. And he puts all my stuff up on YouTube for me. And he puts all that fancy stuff in there. And, and he told me that. He said he, he looked it up on, on his uh, computer. And you have to be careful what you do or YouTube won't pass it on. So if your comments didn't get put in, try again. And don't put a link to anything because YouTube won't put it up. And You're not 
not supposed to use bad language or you're not supposed to say any, anything like like rumors about the vaccine or saying things like that. If you're not supposed to do that. They, all, they won't put it up if you, if you say something like that. Okay, not my rule, but just pass it along. Because I want to get your comments. When you make comments, I want to get them. I want to be able to read them and, and enjoy your comments. Look at this building right here, how it's coming along. Wow, that was a long time coming. It's not finished yet, but they're making progress. Really looks nice out here. They're doing a fine job. It's going to look really nice when it's all done. Can't wait. Can't wait to go walking through there and go in the food court and get a coffee and sit and relax. That'd be, that'd be great. Well, I'm really in a windy, I'm in a windy area here. So I'm going to try to, oh, I don't know, which way is this wind coming from? It's pretty wicked. I'm going to try to get across the street and, and maybe go up Spring Garden Road, do something like that. But it's really windy, so I'm going to try. Okay, I got to I got to try to do some jaywalking here and get across the street on the other side because I want to go up Spring Garden and I don't want to get railed into the open, the open air because it's too windy. You won't be able to hear a word I'm saying because of the wind. The wind will just block everything out if I don't get out of the wind. So bear with me. I'm trying. I'm trying to find a spot out of the wind where we can make a video. This is fall in Nova Scotia. Late fall. Let's step in here for a minute. There. I'll give you a little break from the wind. It's going to be a little echoey in here. Nice reverb sound. You like my reverb? It's called bus stop reverb. Okay. Now, I'm going to just stand here for a minute because the wind is really rough and I want to give your ears a, a break from that wind blowing, blowing the microphone. And when I leave here, I'm going to try to cover it really well with my hand and hopefully you won't have to listen to too much wind. All right? So I hope you're enjoying our little walk. I know it's, I'm having fun. It's kind of windy and breezy and it rain once in a while, but I'm still enjoying it. I must be enjoying it. I'm doing it. You don't do things you don't enjoy. So it must be enjoyable. Well, this wind is... This wind is uh, I can't even keep my hood up. The wind's blowing my hood down. Well, I'll we'll keep walking. This is rough. Maybe when I get up here, it'll, it'll be different. Sometimes you go around the corner and you get shelter from the wind. There we go. I'm kind of out of it now a little bit. Ah, there, hold my hood back up. Pull my cap down over my eyes a little bit. There, perfect. Can you hear me all right now? I know it's windy, but I'm trying to shelter my mic with my hand. I think we're succeeding. All right. I haven't been down here for a long time. Used to, last time I was down here, it was warm. And I sat up by the library for a little while. I had a coffee. And that's, I won't be doing that today. I'll be doing something different today. No, it won't be. It won't be sitting at the outside of the library. Let's see if we can turn around and see that building now. See how much has been accomplished from the first time you saw it. That's going to be a food court and stuff like that. We walk right through. You can go in one side, note the other. Two entrance ways. It's an office tower, but there's a going to be a like a little mall in there with a the food court and stuff. So we're hoping to do a good job and it becomes a really cool place to hang out. What do you, what do you guys call a 
cool place to hang out, you know, a place where you can get internet and you can sit in there as long as you like and they don't bother you. Do I know a cool place in Halifax where you can do that? Up on Gottingen, there's a place called the Seven Bays Cafe. Maybe you're familiar with it. If you're not, check it out. It's right beside the, uh, <laughs> trying to think, Propeller Brewing Company, if, if you know where that is. That's like the folks in on Gottingen Street where they go down. Gottingen Street. There's a propeller brewing company, and next to it is Seven Bays Cafe. Seven Bays Cafe is a really cool spot. You got great internet in there. And don't tell them I told you. Here's the, here's the password to get on any internet. Ziggy Stardust. Don't tell them, don't tell them I told you. Shh, don't let them hear you. Ziggy Stardust is the, is the password that will set you right up on the internet in, in Seven Bay's Cafe. Like, they'll give it to you if you ask. But if you don't want to bother asking, just, uh, it's Ziggy Stardust, so. You know where that name came from? That was David Bowie's, I call it David Bowie's alter ego. He created a, a character for himself and called, it, called him Ziggy Stardust. So, that's the code to get into the internet. And Seven Bay is a great place. They got nice coffee and all kinds of good, good uh, bakery goods, sweets like that. Yeah, you love it in there. If you haven't tried it out, give it a, give it a shot. I like to give places a plug if they're, if they're good places and I've had good experiences there. Why not? And I don't take to the mind if you know their code to the internet. I don't think they'll mind me sharing that way yet because they would have they told you anyway if you asked. Another place I like if you want to go on the internet, and it works really good in there, is Starbucks on Spring Garden Road. Their internet's really good. Tim Hortons is horrible. I don't know what happened at Tim Hortons, but their, their internet is no good. I'm able to get my uh, YouTube music on there without too much trouble, but when you try to watch a video, it don't work very long. Something goes wrong with it. Oh uh, yeah, Tim Hortons is, and it's really slow too. It's very, very difficult using, using Tim Hortons Wi-Fi. So I, I tell it like it is. If it's, I like Tim Hortons coffee. I like hanging out in there, but your Wi-Fi is horrible. All right, I got a lot of wind here again. It's like a wind tunnel in some spots. Some spots there's nothing, and then all of a sudden there's a, a whole bunch of wind. But at least it's not raining. Thankful for that. It's not raining right now. And I'm able to make this video. Let's see how far we're doing here. We're up at 34, 34 minutes, and I'm not getting rained on. So that's a plus. I don't mind that at all. And absolutely. You love it when I'm not getting rained on, and I'm out of the wind right now. So you will love that because this is that construction job that we're working on all, all summer down here in, on Spring Garden Road. Redoing our streets, making the sidewalks wide, making them, uh, this is kind of what they're going to look like. And they're really wide. You see they go all the way out there, I'd say these uh, sidewalks are, are 18, 20 feet wide. And, okay, I'm out here, and they go past this fence another six feet, and then they got all this in there. So they're really wide sidewalks. They're thinking about the people that's walking on the street more than the cars. 
which we don't care. If I drive, I drive a car, but I don't care if I can't drive it down and park on Spring Garden Road. There's a inside parking right there. Right? Let's go up here and we'll have a look at this little thing that they're doing right here. If you want to see it. Alright, it looks like the wide sidewalk is going to come up this street as well. I believe, I believe this is going to be, let me double check. Let's see if it's clean. No, no. Birmingham, Birmingham Street. Sorry, Green must be the next one. Birmingham Street. And it looks like they're preparing to build that wide sidewalk right up through here. And it would be a one-way street coming down. You can come down that way, but you can't go up. So it'll be nice walking sidewalks. This area right here is gonna be like a, Like a village you have in, in a lot of cities, like uh, Toronto has Yorkville and things like that. And, and a lot of cities have the, uh, Vancouver has Gastown, pretty cool place. Well, this will be kind of like a village when you get all done with this, because it's uh, going to be a really cool place to come and walk around and shop. And lots of coffee shops and cafes up here. It's going to be absolutely a beautiful place to come hang out. So, I'm going to walk back towards Spring Garden Road, we'll go a little farther up. I just didn't want to point my camera at this couple that's walking by me right here. There we go, now I'm going to go back down. It's noisy here too. to talk when you're in a noisy area like that. It's almost impossible when you're in a noisy spot. So I try not to talk because I have to raise my voice too loud if I'm in a, in an area like that. But we'll continue on up Spring Garden. And that place right there has been for lease for quite a while. It's a very busy spot here too, but I think they're waiting until the street is done. Then maybe something will happen there. Well, have you started your Christmas decorating yet? We put up our lights on our balcony. We live in apartments, the only thing we got outside is our balcony. Put up some lights out there. We've got our decorations, but we haven't put them up yet. My wife's got a, a village, a, a, a winter village, with glass houses and those lights inside and all that. You see those villages? Well, hers is uh, getting elaborate. I told her, I told her when she set them up, she has to have two tables to set them up. I said, that's not a village anymore. It's now become a certified town. Next thing you know, she'll be finding some skyscrapers put up there, make it into a city. But right now, I think it's a town now because it's it's quite big. She's been working on this for a number of years. Every year, she gets two or three more pieces, and it's grown into quite a size. Well, let's see. I can't go any farther that way because the street's blocked. So we're going to have to go. This way, back, back this way, and across the street because because I can't get down any further. I bet you'll be glad when the last of this uh, construction stuff is over, and I know I will. I'll be really glad to see see the street all finished, completed, and nice 
and and the noise gone from the construction and the wide sidewalks. Oh, it's going to be great. But in order to have something great, you have to go through great misery first. So that's where we are right now. We're going through the great misery to get something great. Look, they're in the pavement stage here. See, they're starting to put the pavement down. That's encouraging. That's encouraging to see that. Well, we'll walk on this side. Okay, there's music playing here, so I gotta get out of here. We don't want to get into any uh, issues with copyright. So far, I think I've stayed out of trouble with YouTube. I haven't had any copyright issues. And I, when I come near music, I cover up my mic and I make a little bit of noise, kind of drown it out. And so far, there's been no issues with with me and, and copyright problems. And I'm going to try to keep it like that because, because uh, let's take another look across here. A lot, of, a lot of construction going on yet, but hopefully it'll be done soon. Yeah, well, we'll see. So, anyways, the copyright is a big issue if there's music playing, but one thing, you can play original music and you don't have to worry about copyright. So, as long as you got permission of the person who is playing it or if you're playing it yourself or whatever. This place right here is the Starbucks, I tell you, has the, has the, the internet works really good in here. And you can sit in there as long as you want and, 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 and uh, get on the internet, watch YouTube or whatever you do, whatever you like to do. So some people with YouTube, some people with Facebook. Uh, for me, Facebook, I scan down through it, but it's not a, a big thing for me. What I really like is YouTube. Twitter, I don't even touch that. I don't care about Twitter. That's, that's not even on my radar at all. How are we doing? Good, I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah. How have you been? I'm good. Good, honey. Uh, I've been, I've been other places, but still, you know, still, still in the city. But I've been going North End a lot. Oh, right on. Yeah, too. yeah. Hanging out up at Young and Roby. Right on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, that's one of my nice little spots I like. Yeah. Yeah, Young and Roby got Tim Hortons there, and right on. And Plaza just across the street. It's a nice little spot. Oh. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, yeah, still doing okay. okay. That's good. I'm just, I'm just out making a video again today. I've got, I've got 600 and no, wait now, yeah, somewhere around, now somewhere around 600 subscribers now. Yeah, and when I get a thousand, I can start making the money. So hopefully by this summer. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Yeah. Cool. Well, you take care. Yeah, you too. Have a good day. If I had any money, I'd give you oh, the, right, the, the, You know, I had a part-time job, and I used to take this guy out that has Alzheimer's. Oh, wow. And we used to go out for coffee and stuff like that and have lunch and all that kind of stuff. Oh. And we spent about four or five hours a day. Oh. And I did it one day a week. But he's in a he's in a home now, so I don't have the job anymore because he's 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 in a long term care now. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, take care. See ya.
was I uh, putting the, putting the pavement right down here. That, that girl I was talking to back there, she's a street person. She's always on the street. I don't know her name, but she's a nice person, friendly. Every time I stop, I used to give her change once in a while, but now I don't. I'm not. I don't have my part-time job anymore that I used to have, so I don't really have money to give to people too much like I used to. I used to do it fairly often, and but right now I'm I'm just uh, doing well to keep my myself going. So, but I think this summer, if all goes well. I may start busking again down here, and that worked out really well. The summer I did that, and you, you do pretty good, you know, you make, make quite a bit of money for doing that. And I go down the waterfront, bring my guitar down there, and my my battery-powered amplifier, and and uh, have a great time down there playing, and people stop and talk, and let, you get lots of American tourists from their cruise ships, and they all put money in your guitar case and yeah that was that was really good. And when I used to do that I used to help people out on the street then too. When I got money from that. I I worked down there and make fifty, sixty dollars, come up here, walk down Spring Garden Road, give ten dollars away, two dollars to this one, two dollars to that one. Only take five people you give ten dollars away to them. But I can't do it now because I don't have it to to do it, to do it, so that's just how it is. You give when you can and you can't give if you don't have. Well, let's see, it's not raining, so we might as well just walk around. Does that sound like a good idea? We can just walk around since it's not raining at all. It was raining, the roads all wet. And there's no wind right here, look. I see trees blowing down there, but right here, it's calm. There's no wind all right here. Look at Victoria Park. Last time we walked through here, we were getting shade from the trees. Now look at them. They're all bare. That's what you get when it's the 22nd of November. Here, it's, it's, uh, we're lucky it's as good as it is. I heard my other phone do something. I'm going to just take a look at it. I don't think it's anything much, but you never know. We'll just uh, put my camera in my left hand and put my phone in my right hand. There we go. Now, just in case it was a text or something, I don't want to miss it. I don't think it was, but... Yeah, let's see. No, no text. Anything other than that. If it's not a text, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. Then it doesn't matter as long as it, it's not a text. Because if it's a text, it might be my wife and she'd be uh, wanting me for something important. So if there's no text on there, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll carry it in my hand, then if it rings, I can answer it. So Victoria Park is looking pretty bare right now. We're getting some wind down here. I don't know how it'll be when I get to the corner. I got a feeling this buildings are shielding me from a lot of the wind. Twigs, footwear, apparel, outerwear, games, dance wear. Hmm. Coffee bar right there. I've never been in there before, but I like trying out new coffee places because they're kind of fun. Once in a while you discover one that's just right for you. If you try them all out, you'll find one sooner or later that's uh, what you've been looking for. I was just counting my, looking at my counter on my phone, making sure that's still clicking off there. I had a weird experience Saturday. Something happened to it I never happened before. I was doing a video down on the waterfront and I looked at my screen and all of a sudden my my pictures were warping. 
my screen was like warping, not the screen itself, but the pictures. They would move sideways in a kind of a twisted fashion. If you look at that video, I just made it on, on Saturday. You'll see what I mean. There's a little part of it. I stopped after that and I rebooted it. And after I rebooted it, it straightened up and didn't do it again. But that's the first time that ever happened. This reminds me of uh, things we used to do in Ontario. When I, when there, we did a lot of these condos, high rises with uh, mattresses. We bring them here, and sometimes you couldn't get up to the door with your with your trailer, so you had to bring a small truck, and you take it off the trailer and put it onto the small truck, and they'd take it into the to the to the rooms or to the apartments where they go going. That could be what they're doing here. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? I know that uh, Mackie handles a lot of mattresses for Sealy because I used to take them there fairly often. Well, let's see. Where do we want to go now? Let's walk. Hmm. It's all good. Everywhere you walk is nice. So, everywhere you go down here is nice. We are at the uh, fringes of the south end. I wouldn't say we're we're not in the deep south end, but we're we're, we're at the edge of it. We're still. I would still call this downtown. Yeah, this is more downtown. Go much farther though, you'll be in the south end. Be nice to see when all these buildings are finally done and and everything's everything's all up and finished and people are living down here in these condos. It's gonna be an exciting place right now. I am looking down. Dresden Row. You want to walk down Dresden Row? Okay. Go down this way. There's still some remnants of fall here. There's leaves on the ground. A little bit in the trees. Not a lot. A lot of bare trees, but there's a few leaves. So it looks like a nice tree. We'll walk down it. Dresden. Going south on Dresden. We just came off of Clyde Street, which runs parallel to Spring Garden Road. I have gloves in my backpack, but I didn't take them out, and I kind of wish I would have, because the, the wind is a little chilly, but I think I'll manage until I get this this video done, then I'll go for coffee, and I'll get my hands all warmed up, and everything will be great again, and next time I'll take my gloves out before I start my, my video up. There's a house just getting reworked, right there. I hear the carpenters working in there. Looks like they put new windows in. No, they're doing a good job inside there, fixing that all up nice. This would be an absolutely beautiful place to live right here. You're right handy to, to everything up there, just up the hill, just up the street there, a couple of blocks, and you're, you're right in the heart of Halifax. Went to Bring Garden Road. But this is a residential street. But it's uh, it's beautiful. The location is perfect. You're 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 right downtown. And I guess by the time you get to this end of the street, 
You could say you're in the south end, I guess. I like the design. Look at that one over there. Isn't that nice? Beautiful houses. Back backyards through here. Can't go all the way through, but there's a back entrance to a lot of these places. Look at the leaves on the sidewalk here. I did a tour in this area once back in the summer. Do you remember me showing you historic Schmidtville? This is the oldest part of Halifax, the oldest, the oldest community in Halifax. That's the plan of the town when it was first built. They brought a lot of people in to build the town. It went right up quick to downtown here. Yeah, the rich architectural heritage of Smithville in the 1830s. So this is one of the oldest, it is the oldest, the oldest known part of Halifax. Historic Schmidtville. Now well, somebody put a sign up. Not one tree down. This tree is, this tree is danger from HRM. But the people who are living here in Smithville are trying to save this tree. They don't want it to blow down. I guess they like the shade from it, from the trees and stuff in the summer. They're trying to hang on to the trees. I don't blame them for that. It's hard to say, how am I to judge if it's a danger or not? I'm not a tree expert, and I don't live here. So I can't take anybody's side on that. They probably both have a valid, valid point, I would say, by the sound of it. Who's going to win? I don't know. Lots of rentals going on down here to the older buildings. Maybe the city's got the same idea I got. And I said this would be like a village, like you have in a lot of cities that are really hip places to be. They're cool, cool places, and sometimes a little bit expensive, but the buildings are fixed up really nice, and there's modern buildings and condos along with heritage buildings. Whoops, sorry, I got down at the point towards the grass there a little bit. There we go. Not many leaves on these trees. <laughs> Look at this one. Nothing. All right. It's all right. It's the 22nd of November, right? Okay, one more, two more days, and we'll have a week left in November. Two more days. This is, this is Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday. And then there's one week left in November. And we'll be into December, it'll be like three weeks from Christmas. Ooh, and then there'll be some days off. My wife will have a few days off, be home, Christmas time. And we'll be eating turkey and cranberries and cake and pie and nuts and chocolates and we'll all get sick and the diarrhea. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun, huh? No, I won't make a pig out of myself. I don't. I don't eat like that anymore. I got my weight down where I want it, and I, I don't, 
I don't uh, over over. Sometimes I may suffer a little too much on turkey, but it's only one day. Right? It won't do too much harm. I used to love chocolate. I ate so much chocolate when I was young. That's why I've got dentures in my, in my upper teeth are all gone. I got dentures because I ate too much chocolate. Well, we'll go up through here. This is a one-way street as well. I guess it's going to remain that way probably. used to do when I worked for the, co the company I worked for, we, we, we were subcontracted to Sea Lee Mattress and I used to take mattresses down to uh, Mackey in Oshawa, Whitby, I think Whitby, uh, yeah, Whitby, yeah, we just past the Whitby scale, Mackey t Transport and Mackey Moving. And we used to take it on a trailer and then take it off. And they would uh, ship it to mostly California. We had some, some people out there that shipped these mattresses to. I think you might have been online shoppers because they were going to private houses. So that was quite a deal. We did that fairly often. Take a whole load of mattresses into Mackey and unload it. And, our company, we we just run Ontario. We had a couple of trucks come down to Quebec, but I just I just stayed in Ontario. So the anything going to the states, we we loaded that on something else. And that was mostly matters just from Sealy. Anyways, I'm just walking around downtown because it's fall and I like to get a season in showing what places look like and uh, this was going on all summer. I think there's construction here and it's uh, still going on. Well, we're doing pretty good. When I first started out, the wind was blowing really hard. I thought, oh boy, I'm going to do well to get a video. Now, I'm, at, I'm up around uh, 40, 43 minutes right now. And I haven't had too much wind once to get downtown. The buildings, are, the buildings are shielding me from the wind down here. That's what's up in there. Around this corner, we may get some wind. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going back down Spring Garden Road. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, how are you? Hey, good, honey. You have a good day. You too. See ya. Yeah, she's a she's a nice person. I. You know, I don't know what, why she's out here. I never asked, but she seemed very nice to talk to. So I always talk nice to her whenever I see her. I don't even know her name. Or sometimes a friendly smile can go a long ways for somebody that's down and out. So that's what I try to do, give, give people a smile and I can't always give them money because they don't always have it to give, but we'll wait and see if this car wants to go up through there. Or what? Oh, maybe he's got a red light now. Hmm, we'll let, we'll let him go by. I'm in no hurry. I'm in no hurry. <laughs> Let them go 
vorbei. Well, we'll walk back down to Garden, back down towards Barrington, I guess. <coughs> this was a, turned out to be a good little walk. It's a little chilly on the hands, but it's okay. I got gloves, but I just don't want to stop my video to get them out, so we'll just well, tough it out, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Let's see, I gotta check my time. I gotta be mindful of my time because I have to go back home and take my take my son, pick up my son from work at a certain time, and I have to then go pick my wife up work from her work later. So, I got a little window here where I can yeah, make some videos. And, and this is it, this is my window, so do what I can with it. I'm gonna take a look at this uh, construction site over here, see what I can, see how it's coming along. This one right beside the library. I have to cross the street first because have to go this way. Oh yeah, this is going to add a lot to, to downtown. This big area of building right here. There's going to be shops in the bottom and condos in the top. It's going to be wonderful, it's going to be beautiful. A big, nice big area, brand new stores. <clears throat> a whole brand new block, just like this block over here. It'll be all new like this. And big wide sidewalks on both sides. The S class has the... I'm just debating which which direction I should go in for coffee. I should go, I don't know. I was gonna go to the south end, but I may not. I may go up to Ferry Terminal area, hang out there, possibly. So this video is, is about 50, 50, 51 minutes long now. I might just sign off right here and, and then maybe I can squeeze in one more video today before it's before the day's over. Sound like a good idea? Sure. Alright, we'll point it towards the library over there. And right there. I hope you liked this video today and if you did just push that like button, that'd be great. And if you're not yet a subscriber, Push that subscribe button and uh, it'll help me out more than you know. And 